story. And the other question is, how do authorities even begin to try and get Snowden back here to the U.S.? Congressman Peter King in New York, a Republican member of the Homeland Security Committee, chairman of the Subcommittee on Counterterrorism and Intelligence. Congressman, thanks for coming in this morning. Uh, has he slipped through our fingers forever? Uh, maybe not forever, but it's going to be very difficult. We have to use every bit of diplomatic leverage we have right now. The president should be in contact with Putin, saying that uh, this whole reset button with Russia, that's off if Putin allows him to leave the country and does not send him back to the United States. They're talking about Iceland. Iceland is a NATO ally. We should take whatever action we have to, diplomatically, uh, financially, against Iceland. As far as Cuba and Venezuela, that's a haven for refugees from American justice. Uh, so it's going, to be, it's going to be difficult. But also, I think it's important for the American people to realize that this guy is a traitor, he's a defector, he's not a hero. And I heard that Senator Rand Paul this morning actually compared Snowden to General Clapper. What's happening to our country? This is a traitor. And for anyone to be comparing him to a uh, U.S. military hero is absolutely disgraceful. You, can you confirm that he has left Hong Kong, that he's on that <clears throat> plane, that he's in Moscow or headed to any of these countries, or is this just a report at this point? Uh, my understanding is Aeroflot said he was on the plane, but no one on the plane said they saw him, so who knows? And you had uh, Assange saying this morning that sometimes you say you go into one country and you really go to another. So this whole thing could be a ruse, for all we know. But there's so many issues here. Why did Hong Kong let him go? Why did China let him go? Uh, is, uh, I agree with Senator Schumer. Putin had to be somehow part of this if he is actually going to Russia. So our diplomatic relations are really frayed. The president's got to get on this. And also in terms of homeland security, uh, how risky is mm. Snowden? Does he know more than you already know he has in his possession and in his mind? Well, I was just, we are very concerned about what more information he can leak out. And all of this information is damaging to the U.S., damaging to our security, puts American lives at risk. In terms of him leaving Hong Kong, if he infected, Hong Kong is claiming this morning that they requested additional paperwork from the United States and our country didn't comply. What information did they need to hold him for us? And can you confirm whether or not the White House actually participated in supplying what was needed or, I guess, uh, let it go? And, and here we are now trying to track them all over the world. Well, I don't know the latest details, but I do know that the U.S. government filed necessary papers. If there were if there any additional information needed, and this happens often, that goes back and forth, that is no excuse to let him go. Once a government files papers saying that a person is a fugitive from justice, they have to hold them till that's resolved. What about the countries, you said with Iceland we have relations, a NATO agreements. Mm -hmm. uh, Cuba and Venezuela, if that's where he's headed or somewhere else in, in South America, they will protect him. And will they do that because he's valuable to them from an intelligence standpoint or because they can thumb their nose at us that they have someone they know the U.S. wants to get back? Jimmy, I would say all of the above. At very least, just having someone that we want makes them feel good. Joanne Chesimard has been there all these years. Uh, but also, this guy does have intel. He does have intelligence. They will have him. And uh, so uh, I say for all of the above, it's all the more reason, by the way, that we should make it clear that anyone, certainly any American who cooperates and is facilitating him escaping or getting to another country, should be indicted for aiding and abetting a fugitive from justice. This is no longer a game. Let me mention on the left side of your screen, folks, we're watching that the passengers from that flight actually get off this plane and everyone there is looking for Edward Snowden to see if he actually right. disembarks from the plane. You'll see a flurry of activity because every press organization is there right now. In the meantime, he, the, he is saying that, or it's been reported through him, that he's been in touch with Julian Assange. We know about the WikiLeaks scandal and the information that got out. Corporal Manning <clears throat> is going to pay the price for what he did. If we get our hands on him, what are we going to do? And why is this happening again? Well, first of all, he has to be indicted and prosecuted for violating the Espionage Act, get the maximum possible sentence. Why is it happening? They're going to have to really, I believe, do more to tighten up security. How someone like this uh, was able to get access to so much and leave the country without anyone even knowing it is, uh, shows a real deficiency. I mean, anyone getting a, a security clearance, you go through hell to get it. 
And somehow he was able to, uh, I have real issues why he even maintained his security clearance before this, but the fact that somebody, an employee at NSA or working for a contractor with NSA, would have access to all that information, be able to download it and get it out of the country, it's, it's inexcusable. So the ball's being dropped from a security standpoint. Uh, it has to be tightened up, absolutely. All right, so you'll work on that for us, and you'll also continue to give us exclusively whatever information you can. Thank you, you for coming in. Thank you. I really yeah. appreciate that, sir. Yeah. Eric? Thank you, Congressman.